The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Yeah, because usually when people write, I think what they do is they end up sharing a portion of themselves to other people, even if it's unintentionally. So if, I don't know, someone writes about BDSM, I guess they're very kinky. I'm not kink shaming or anything, I'm just saying that's probably what happens. And if people have a specific type of uh, love fantasy when they write out eroticas, you'll know what kind of love fantasies they're into. Because that's what they thought of on their own. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot 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 dot. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Oh boy, the awkward silence, guys. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! And they said she's the energetic one? God. Obviously, it's Sayuri being the more energetic one. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Go Away? I mean, did I say I was going to join the club? I'm pretty sure I didn't say I was going to join the club, guys. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on! There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said I was going to join the club. Sairi may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... Oh my god! Oh my god! They all changed faces! I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Go away. You, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. Ugh. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh, he just dug himself a hole he can never crawl out of. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. I kind of don't want to be with her, though, so... Can we kick her out of the club, even though she's the vice principal? All right, president, I'm sorry, principal. Sairi wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. And thus starts my days in the Literature Club with four unexpected beauties. Isn't that how it works? Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Go away. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hmm. <laughs> y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Don't worry, MC. I got you. I'm the I'm your I'm your inner I'm your inner person, and I will help lead you to the best poem ever. I already feel the anxiety swelling, no, welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, go away! Since you were already no, since you since we're already here, do you want to talk? Do you want oh, <laughs> do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Yatta! <laughs> With that, 
the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the, between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Childhood friend, Sundari Lolly, shy, cute, pretty girl. No, shy, pretty girl, like ice queen kind of, but she's not really an ice queen, I guess. And waifu. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? I don't know, dude. You tell me. I might be your inner self, but you can make the decisions yourself. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Well, someone has ulterior motives. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Why do I get the feeling that even though this is such a cliche way to start um, an interesting visual novel, that it's not going to be this easy? <laughs> and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Ooh, music change, guys. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club members will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Uh... <laughs> How am I supposed to pick? I don't know what words I should use. Fluffy is cute. Prayer, incapable, vanilla. I feel like Fluffy would be more of a, uh, a Natsuki, aka Cupcake Girl uh, thing. Maybe after image? I should probably save just in case. All right, we've saved. Um, hmm. Intellectual. Uh, not lollipop. Philosophy? Bouncy? <laughs> alone. Intellectual alone. Uh... Oh man, these are. I don't. How would these even come together? Memories? Let's see. I have intellectual and alone so far. How about we daydream? Vivacious, peace, defeat, disaster, lazy. Definitely not lazy, definitely not disoriented. Kiss, maybe? Poof, crimson. Crimson! Sensation, smile, jumpy, empty, silly, comfortable, unending. If. If full. I don't even know what this means. If. Infallible? Infallible! Not bunny, hope maybe, rain cloud, tenacious, nature, skipping, death, cheer, scars, melancholy. Melancholy! Kawaii, heart, kawaii desu! Heart, vibrant, giggle, shame, playground, universe, fear, pure, entropy. I like entropy. Uh, excitement, bliss, ocean, fickle, anime, <laughs> anime. Destiny, misfortune, unrestrained, sparkle, secretive. This one's a hard one. Um, if I had to pick, unrestrained, fester, existence, hop, broken, dazzle, inferno, loud, romance, kitty, covet. I don't know which one I want here. Maybe broken, contamination, flee, flying, Nim nibble, promise, marriage, childhood, despise, papa, sugar. Not papa. Don't really care for knowledge in this case. Uh. Contamination. Extreme analysis. Pout. Climax. Doki Doki. Together. Adventure. Blanket. Holiday. Sadness. I feel like I'm doing like the Pokemon rap right now, but with random words. Doki Doki. Nah, not Doki Doki. I think Doki Doki is like the the sound the heart makes when it like pounds. Um, and analysis, I guess, since we already go with intellectual. Disown. Pink. Color. Amazing. Happiness. Passion. Email. Sticky. Tragedy. Awesome. Tragedy. I am such a pessimistic guy. Precious. Flowers. Swimsuit. Warm. Anxiety. Special. Insight. Anger. Meager. Horror. Insight. I like insight. Explode. Shiny. Beautiful. Question. Cage. Vitality. Fun. Nightgown. Nightgown? Nightgown. <laughs> Feather. Clumsy. Disarray. Tears. Cry. Dream. Melody. Skirt. Infinite. Incongruent. Infinite. Marshmallow, ribbon, hopeless, hopeless, 
<laughs> Dance! Extra extraordinary! Determination! Charm! Su suicide! Sure! Wrath! Music! Whisper! Love! Bubbles! Unstable! Judgment! Vivid! Lucky! Frightening! The reason I picked suicide is kind of obvious with what's been going on in the internet eh, somewhat recently. Anyways, wrath, music, whisper, love, bubbles, unstable, judgment, vivid, lucky, frightening. L frightening it is, because suicide is frightening. Heaven sent, joy, lipstick, shopping, strawberry, electricity, cute, puppy, pleasure, friend. Uh, I like pleasure, I guess? Nah, let's go with friends. Laugh, captive. Journey, time, dark, sunset, atone, wonderful, starscape, whistle, we're captive, that's why we can't escape unless we kill ourselves, ugh, this is, this is a serious thing guys, don't, don't, don't suicide. Hi again, go away, glad to see you didn't run away on us, <laughs> nah, don't worry, this might be a little strange for me, but at least... But I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Go Away. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. I don't like this girl. Sairi told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Man, those eyes. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plopped back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Go away always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sairi, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. What? You jealous? Why? How come? You and Go Away can become good friends too. Um. Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she put me into. Oh ho ho! You even brought you something today, you know? But wait, Sayori! Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sairi made it sound like a big deal when it's not, when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I will make it. I will make it a big, a big deal if you don't want me. To, if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Oh, she is so cute. Like, bashful cute. I want to give her a hug. That's how cute she is. <laughs> Th this is... How's this girl accidentally being so cute? Ah! <laughs> yes! I knew it! MC and I, we, we gonna think alike, yo. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. And enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. 
Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent, she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Dot 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 dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. <laughs> ah, I see. There's something fairly ob obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and reliable, oh, relatable story. Is that so? What is it about anyway? Well... Mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait, Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Illuminati. Alright. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give away anything. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gent gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Go Away? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot about Yuri is into I forgot that Yuri is into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be on a completely different Oh, be completely different. I was going to say on a completely different level. It's just that it's just that those kinds of stories they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. She's not wrong. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't need... I, <laughs> I really don't think you need to worry. That's... Sh that just means you're you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you didn't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and I that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? 
Ooh, we're gonna sit next to her. 